Hi everybody, hiking today with Liz at Asgard Pass, Alpine Lakes Wilderness, the Enchantments, whatever you want to call them. 4,400 feet of elevation gained from the car. Come on, man. Barely made it up here, but we're uh, eating our lunch, filming a short video, pretty much just a document that I got up here. I've never been up here before. It's been on my I'm not a bucket list person, but um, I needed to get up here, and I'm glad that we were able uh, to haul ourselves up here. Liz, of course, is a specimen, but major effort from me. Thanks for joining us. Let's flip you around. All right, well, I need to save most of my legs for the way down. But uh, let me just wander just a touch to give you a sense of this place. Uh, what's the geology? This is a geology video? Oh, I don't know. It's 91 million year old granite. What do you want? That's it. Everything you see and everything we've seen all day. Parked at the Stewart Lake Trailhead. Got up to Colchuck Lake. And, you know, I could film a bunch at Colchuck Lake and uh, on the way down and all that, but I, I got to concentrate, man. This is this is major effort. Uh, but uh, believe it or not, as I'm accustomed to saying in many of these videos, Ellensburg's right over the... <laughs> Ellensburg's right over the ridge. It does... It, it, it seems particularly crazy because this is such an otherworldly place. And yet, we're not far from home. Bijou's napping in the air conditioning. It's uh, supposed to be in the high 90s today, Fahrenheit. And uh, of course, up here high, we have a very refreshing, delicious breeze. All right, I think the last thing I'm going to do with you, yeah, I wasn't kidding. I'm not going to film much. Liz is ready to go. And uh, it's going to take a lot of concentration on the way down. You're like, what are the names of the lakes? What are the names of the peaks? I have no idea. This is out of my scene for sure. Geologically, it's my scene. And yes, yeah, this is the granite that we will be talking about a fair amount this winter. I guess I'll just keep rolling with you uh, for a couple more minutes and walk back without my pack to look down on Colchuck Lake and it's clear enough today that I think we can see Mount Baker all the way up by the Canadian border. Bellingham, of course. And I'm pretty sure we could see Glacier Peak Volcano as well, but I don't know if we can uh, from today. I'm going to finish filming just overlooking Colchuck Lake, dear. So, uh, I don't, I don't want to talk too much about the hiking experience here except to say that uh, it maxed out my effort, that is for sure. And it's going to take me the rest of the week to recover. Uh, it's not really a trail going up Asgard Pass. Uh, it's uh, just scrambling from cairn to cairn. And in some places, rather significant scrambling on all fours, which is not what I typically do. So it's pushed me to my limit, for sure. I think I've already said that, but whatever. So now we're looking back. Uh, viewers, you can probably tell us the peaks here. I honestly don't know. I've seen them in a lot of photographs over the years. And I'm facing the wind, so maybe the wireless mic's going to have trouble now, but... I'll try to zoom all the way to Glacier Peak for you. 
That's the max zoom. I can. That's as steady as I can hold it. You see that white volcano in the the farthest part of the horizon. It's got kind of a flat top. That's Mount Baker volcano. And uh, backcountry Gary, I'm sure, and others can tell us the names of these other peaks. I cannot. But you can see in the foreground. Okay, I'm doing a little bit more geology. You see all that orange. That's the Ingalls Tectonic Complex, or the Ingalls Ophiolite, where Bob and I were, Bob Miller and I were hiking uh, a little more than a week ago, looking this way, and uh, it's the Windy Pass Thrust, is right, at, right beneath that orange stuff. So the orange stuff was uh, thrust that way, up and over the Chewakam Schist. I'll give you a shot of Colchuck Lake. So yes, we've got to get down. Scramble, scramble, scramble all the way to the lake shore, then hike around that uh, shore of the lake, and then the cars are quite a ways back. So we started hiking at 7 a.m. We left Bijou at 5 a.m. this morning. Started hiking at 7, got up here, you know, I'm old now, so uh, I think it was 1.30 by the time we got up here to the pass. Okay, we'll keep it rolling on the way back to Liz, and then I'll sign off. I'm uh, continuing to think about the crystalline core more so than usual. And in this case, I'm uh, <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears in the crystalline core. My goodness. So, have you done this hike before? Uh, we're... Obviously, the goal was just to get to the top of Asgard Pass and then turn around and go back down to the trailhead. I know that many folks continue and do a loop down through Snow Lakes Trail. And um, I'm actually curious, veterans of this scene, is it more common to do this loop starting at Snow Lakes and then coming up this way and then going down Asgard? Or is it more common to start where we started this morning, hike up to Colchuck Lake, um, and then out to Snow Lakes that way? Okay, I can't stop filming, obviously, but I think I'm getting the hook, uh, giving myself the hook. July 20th. Oh, thank you, dear. It is my 60th birthday. Thank you, dear viewers. I love you. And goodbye from Alpine Lakes Wilderness. Oh God, dude, this has got to be a parting shot over here. Come on, are you kidding me? This has got to be the parting shot. Thank you. I love you and goodbye from Alpine Lakes Wilderness just north of Ellensburg, Washington, USA.